Hey guys, it's Mei Mei, and welcome back to another Heart Scripture Journey video. And this week, we add a new scripture to our memorization. How's your memorization going? You guys let me know below. How well have you done? I have been trying out, and I don't have my book with me. I wanted to show you in video, so I'll show you next week. I've been trying out the writing down method that a teacher, I don't remember her name. I'm so sorry. I could go back and research it, but now I'm in the middle of this. But a teacher commented in one of my videos that writing things help you remember it. So I've been doing that, and I've had a little way of doing it I want to share with you, but I don't have my book with me when I'm filming, so I'll do that next week. But it's really been helping me, so I thought I would share that with you, and we'll go over that a little more next week. This week, I'm going to bring to you a scripture that um, I, I lean on a lot. I lean on this scripture a lot. You guys know in this day and age we live in, in this world that we're in, so many times we see media reports or uh, news reports or any person you walk around with who kind of belittles our faith or doesn't understand our faith, so makes fun of it or mocks it or... Um, you know, tries to make us feel less for what we believe. And for the longest time, that really bothered me. And I thought, you know, I'm I'm accepting of other people. My religion teaches me to love other people, to love God first and then love people just like I love myself. So I think I'm accepting of other people and I love other people. Why can't I get the same in return? Well, it was interesting. I was in a sermon a while ago, probably probably almost a year ago now, and I heard this, and it sunk in for the first time. I want to read the scripture to you, and this is the one that we're going to use for our memory verse this week for this reason. It's um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. This scripture, is, I'm not giving you a whole bunch to learn this week, just this one scripture, because I think it will be important, and I think it will help you in your daily walk as a believer, and here's why. If you hear someone say something or, um, you know, mock our religion or mock things that we do, you need to understand something. That is actually the right response because they don't understand um, Christianity, they don't understand the Spirit. They don't have the Holy Spirit. Therefore, they can't discern it. So to those people, the natural person, that means they. the Scripture is folly to them. It is foolishness. They, they literally see this book as a foolish book. And the Bible tells us that. It explains it to us. So the reason I want you guys to know that because I've really had to take this on. It used to really, really hurt my feelings. Like I said, when people would bash my religion or talk bad about the things I believe, it would really hurt my feelings. And when I realized this, that it's not their fault because they're a natural man, they're a natural person. And without the Holy Spirit to guide them, they see this book as folly, as foolishness. And that opened my eyes to that. And so I'm able to hear things in the news or see things that would normally really shock me or hurt my feelings and instead go, mm, the Bible told me this to them. It's foolishness. If you see something yourself and you think it is foolishness or silly, you're not going to feel the same way about it. For example, my children play video games. I'm not into video games, but they enjoy them. And it means something to them because it's their a hobby or pastime. Just like card making and crafting means something to me, but it doesn't mean a thing to my children, right? They don't understand it. It's not something that's in their core that they love, where with us, the scripture is. So before you get really upset or spend any time um, just you know, beaten down in what someone says or what has happened, just remember that if they don't know the scripture, it's folly to them. I actually used to have a friend, a very close friend, that we are not friends anymore, haven't been for 20 years, but uh, their comment was they felt like this book was no better than toilet paper. Can you imagine that? They literally would make that comment, and it broke my heart. I'm like, no, this book is life to me, and for someone to disregard it so much, and that was a very big sticking point with that person and I, and it's so interesting. Had I known this, I probably would have been able to see past the words coming out of their mouth and realize they really just were lost and needed to be saved. I'm breaking in here to say, and I didn't say this when I was filming, but I should have. When you hear those things come from a person, you need to put them on your prayer list. They need to be a person that you pray for often 
and constantly and ask God to speak to them so that they can receive the Holy Spirit. That's how we should react to that sort of situation. I just wanted to break in and say that. So I don't know if this is going to help everybody this week. It certainly helps me, and I want to try to help you because I know how infuriating sometimes it can be when somebody makes fun of us or our religion or what we do, but it's just because they don't know, and the Bible tells us that. And it also says to us that we will be despised in the name of Jesus. You guys know this, right? Um, I closed that, and I need to write it on my card. Uh, first, second, first Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Well, let me go back to it. I just closed my Bible up. Um, anyway, we're going to move on to putting our um, verse onto our little Versadex card. Okay, I received a um, package in the mail this week that I showed in our Crafter After Show where the sweet lady had used her planner punch board to make the punches here to go into the Versadex. You can do that, but in that video, you guys, we talked about it and I said, I need to show you how to do this with just a hole punch, so I'm gonna show you. So here's the deal. This is just a um, three by four card that I rounded the corners on, so it's the size of a Rolodex, three inches by four, and I'm gonna make a mark at one and a half inch and at two and a half inches. Okay, one and a half and two and a half. That's how far apart I need this to be for my Versadex. Then I'm just gonna kind of extend the line up a little bit, like so, so I can see it. And using a regular old hole punch, okay, just in case you don't have any fancy punches, using a regular old hole punch, I'm gonna go up about a quarter of an inch, just kind of eyeballing it, and punch that. This hole punch has seen better days. Just eyeball it. Something like this. You can mark it specifically if you need to, like measure up a quarter of an inch. But I'm just going to do it like that. Punch that. Now, these won't be absolutely 100% perfect, but it does work. And it's funny how I found out this works. I used to work in an office, and we didn't have, we had an old Rolodex, but we didn't have any Rolodex cards. And I was like, how can I do this without any Rolodex cards? So I just played around and figured out that I could do it this way. And look, they will snap into place. They are not perfect, but they do fit, and the card is in there. And once you make your first one, just make yourself a template for all your future ones. It works. It's Again, it's not perfect, but it certainly gets the job done. All right, so I'm going to write my scripture with this pen today. I'm using this blue paper because I have done something this week, which I think is interesting. I mean, it's not all that interesting. It's just something. <laughs> I have been taking my... Um, scrap paper that's at least four inches wide and putting it into a pile for me to just pull out and make my cards with. So I'm going to do that so I don't waste any paper. You know, we're always looking for ways to use our scrap paper. I cannot write and talk. I got to stop talking to do this. Uh, 214. Okay, so there's my scripture all written out. And just real quick, what I've been doing is in my notebook. I just have a spiral bound notebook and I've been writing the um, verse here. And then I write it in the notebook and period periodically throughout the day or throughout the week, whatever, I come back, I read the verse, and then I try to write it again without looking back at my reference. And any mistakes I make, I mark them, and then I keep going. So whenever I come back to it, I just try to rewrite it without any mistakes. And until I can write it without any mistakes, I keep doing it. Does that make sense? And then when I can do it, I just give myself a little red star because I've done it. So that's what I'm doing in my book. And I'll show y'all next week when I have it with me. All right, there's my verse for this week. I'm excited about that one. I hope that it helps you guys because sometimes things hurt our feelings and we need to remember it's okay. They don't know any better. Okay, card bases. I've already got this stuff done ahead of time and let me tell you why. Sometimes our weeks get away from us and this one has gotten away from me. It is Friday evening and tomorrow I will spend the whole day watching basketball because my son Thomas will be playing in an all-star game and... Um, I won't have time to do this on Saturday, so I'm doing this tonight, and so here's what I did. You know how I like to let the paper do the work? You've heard me say this a lot before. I thought this is a perfect time to do that, so I went into a very old paper pack that I had, I say very old, a couple years, from um, Illustrated Faith, and I took the cut apart sheet and I just cut it down as much as I could, and I also took some of the paper itself that was left over and cut down some card mats like this. So these are gonna be simple to put together because you know each week I'm making 12, but I don't have a whole lot of time this week, so this is how I'm gonna do it. All right, let's just put one together because they're all gonna be the same. Um, 
there's really no reason to put all of them together on camera. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to pick one of the bases or the mats that I cut out to go on the base. So I'm gonna glue that down real quick. So I've got that glued down to my card front and I just wanna go through here and just kinda see, that's kinda cute down there in the corner. See how you can let the paper do the work like this? Um, that's cute too. All of this is gonna work because it came from the same paper pack. I think I'm gonna pop this up here. So let me get some foam um, squares really quick. And what I'm gonna do for every card for this week, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run through and just do them like this. Put down a base and then just kinda play around with these pieces that I cut and that is gonna be my card. Now, I don't always want to make this simple of card. You know, a lot of times I have time to spend, but this week, because I need to be on the road so much, I, this is gonna be the best I can do. But I still think they're really cute cards. Let's make another one together. Also, while I'm doing this, I want to tell you about something. I have a new stamp set that I'm gonna use in just a second. Let me bring it into the camera for you guys. This is a new stamp, and it is called um, The Gift of God. It is the plan of salvation in a stamp. I created it to go on the back of cards that I'm gonna be sending out, but I also wanted to give these to you guys. Now, about a year ago, probably nine months ago, this came to my brain, and I know it was God telling me that he wanted me to make this available to everyone for free, okay? Now, here's what I'm asking you to do. If you want to get this stamp at no charge, what I'm asking is that when you place an order in our store, you put this into your cart, and we will put it in there at no charge. You can, per you can purchase it at no charge by just going, putting in your cart, and paying the shipping for us to send it to you. It's like $2.60. Or, and I need you to do this on your honor, if you just can't afford to place an order and you just can't afford to pay the $2.60 shipping for this stamp, you can email us at info at maymaymadeit.com and we will do what we can to get one of these to you. I just can't afford, this is my honest, uh, word to you. I cannot afford to do postage for every single person, but I do know there are some of you who just couldn't afford to do it. And so I'm asking that on your honor, if you can't afford $2.60 postage and you can't afford to put it in an order, that you email us and let us know and we will do our best to get it to you. I hope you enjoy that stamp. It's really cool. It will explain the plan of salvation to anyone who doesn't know it on the back of a card that you send them. And at the bottom of it, we even add a resource. So if they need to speak to someone, and get further information or have somebody pray with them, there's a resource there on the stamp itself. So let's put another little front down, like so. I know I spoke about that a lot. I'm not going to be doing that anymore because we're just going to, you know, now you know. You know that one exists. You know how to get it. I think this would be so cute on here. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? I'm telling you, the paper can do the work. The way that you know this is true, if you ever get one of those paper packs from Photo Play that's like the little a la card, card kits, it's what they do. The paper does the work. You add a couple of little, little embellishments here or there, but the paper really does the work. So I'm going to glue this one down or stick this one down. And then I'm going to stamp on the back of these with that stamp to show you. And then I'm going to make the rest of these off camera because I'm going to be doing the same thing and you will get bored. There is no reason for you to see me make all of these guys because we're literally going to do the same thing. All right. I think this is cute right here. Let me line this up a little bit. Yeah. Look at that. That is really cute and just done with the paper. This is an old Fisker stamp press that I have. I'm going to put this one on here, this my um, salvation stamp, and just leave it there. I tell y'all I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll have just a block that I can do that with, and I don't use this one for anything anymore since I got the new Fiskars ones. And look, this will be perfect for this, for all of my cards. Now, this stamp is made, so if you make A2 size cards, you can stamp it this way. Or if you take your cards and you make them landscape, you can still use it on the back of your card. Now, the only thing I want to caution you about is that you're going to be stamping, so you don't want to use an ink that's going to bleed through. So you need to just pay attention to that on your paper and make sure that your ink is not too juicy. And I'm going to use some clayer, some VersaFine clayer, but I'm not going to like squish, squish, squish. I'm just going to tap it down. And I'm using this gray color because I think it looks really pretty on the back of the cards in this kind of, um, it's called Morning Mist, this kind of gray color. And flip this over. And yeah, this is perfect to leave this on. I like this for this. And then just stamp this down. Just like so. And check it out. 
Now I have, I'm gonna put this back up here so I have it for the rest of my cards, right handy. Now I have the plan of salvation stamped on the back of this card that will be sent out to somebody. Isn't that cool? I love it. By the way, this plan is an acronym GIFT, G-I-F-T, and it was written by my brother and he gave me permission to use it. Isn't that super sweet of him? All right, so crease this down and that's what I'm gonna do for all the cards this week. So here's two. And I'm going to go through and make all of my others, which is 10 more. And I'll be sending out cards to some of you guys, by the way. If you'd like to get a card from me, you can email me at maymayheartcards and let me know you'd like to receive a card. And we will put you in the random draw to receive a card. And I'll be mailing them out each week. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Let me know how your scripture memory is going. Tell me in the comments below. I want to know how it's going. If it's going great, you will have learned four whole sets of scripture already this year. That's awesome. If it's not going great, you'll have learned whatever you've learned, and that's still better than learning nothing, right? Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.